what's going on guys in this video i'll be showing you how to create this vector donut icon in inkscape just before we get started i just like to uh, tell you guys that i'm really sorry for not uploading the videos more frequently i've been a bit busy lately and uh, i don't get the i don't get enough time to upload uh, to create these videos and upload them so yeah i'm just uh, sorry about that i won't be promising you that uh, i'll be uploading more frequently but one thing I can promise you that is that I won't be abandoning this channel. I'll just keep on uploading as much as I can and uh, whenever I can, whenever I get the time. Yeah, with that being said, let's get started. The file, create a new document and set the go to file document properties. Change the orientation to landscape, uh, set the units to pixels and uh, i'll make a 280 by 720 pixel composition uncheck the show border up, uh, shadow option and just close out of this uh, select the uh, circles and ellipses tool hold control and shift key on a keyboard and uh, create a circle like this I'll just change the color of this to can be any color you want. Just go with uh, the pink color. And uh, the fill and stroke panel, set, go to stroke paint tab and uh, set it to flat color. Uh, stroke style, uh, change the value to pixels and uh, let's make sure it's 20 pixels right here. Uh, joints should be round join and cap should be round cap and the order should be uh, this one fill stroke markers okay. if you don't know how to get the align and distribute panel you can press shift ctrl a on your keyboard to bring that up and uh, for the fill and stroke panel you can press shift ctrl f to bring that up now we need to create that creamy uh, uh, creamy pattern for our uh, donut and to do that uh, select the rectangles and squares tool and create a, a rectangle change the color to differentiate and, and the stroke paints uh, just uh, set it to no paint we don't need the stroke for this again select the rectangles and squares tool and we create a vertical rectangle like this and I'll just change the color of that. For some reason the opacity is not what I need. Okay. Again, with the rectangle tool, you just you'll see this uh, icon right here at the top side, top right side. Just click and hold this uh, node right here and uh, around the corners of the rectangle and uh, put it in place uh, you can make sure that the snap nodes parts and handles is on and uh, then click on snap to parts to turn it on as well uh, in total let's duplicate the shape and control the duplicate it and hold control key on a keyboard and move it to the right uh, we need to have five of these so again hit control the duplicate it can control D to duplicate it and control D again to duplicate it and uh, let's position them let's make sure that it is snapped in properly select everything all of these blue these five shapes and uh, squeeze them in and uh, make sure that it lines and snaps in properly I'll select the first one the third one and the fifth one and then I'll uh, shift click on this orange shape right beneath it go to path then click on union click on this uh, blue shape and shift click on this uh, shape as well go to path then click on union select everything and go to path then click on difference uh, let's just resize this a bit and uh, Okay, now control D to duplicate the shape. I just forgot to Let's make sure that the FL opacity is at 255. 
forgot one thing is that we need to create that uh, duplicate the shape control and shift key on your keyboard let's just change the color so that we can differentiate it or control and shift key on a keyboard and uh, resize it and now select these two shapes go back then click on difference now I'll just put it at the on top of this circle shape let's make sure that they are aligned properly select uh, the both these shapes and in the align adjustment panel set the relative to last selected and then click on this icon to center it on uh, vertical axis let's just resize this a bit and uh, move it down right there is perfect select the edit parts by nodes tool and delete all the nodes that are in the middle select these uh, six nodes that are in the uh, bottom middle part of our shape and uh, move it to the top we need to increase adjust the height of the these nodes as well and uh, You'll have something like this. Uh, duplicate this sh uh, circle shape right here. Control D to duplicate it. We'll shift key on a keyboard and click on this orange shape which is beneath it. Go to path, then click on intersection. Uh, we need to apply a stroke on this shape as well in the flint stroke pan tab. Go to stroke paint tab and uh, then click on flat color. Again, make sure that the width of the stroke is set to 20 pixels. Okay, now we can play around with the height of this, uh, these uh, bends right here, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, now uh, to the next step is to add the wrap to create this shadow and uh, we have to add these, what do you call them, toppings. Okay, now uh, again select the rectangles and squares tool and uh, create a rectangle remove the stroke from it we don't need the stroke and uh, just uh, rotate it and resize it and for this I'll give it a white color Control, uh, you can just hit spacebar on your keyboard and uh, move around and hit spacebar again to stamp that shape in. And for this one, I'll just rotate it from and again space bar hit the space bar key and move around and uh, dab it in you can add as many as you want but i'll just gonna leave it uh, right there now select the circle shape again hit control to duplicate it and move it to the uh, left side for a moment okay, uh put the stroke paint and remove the stroke from it set it to no paint hit control to duplicate it and move it towards the right let's change the color and uh, we want it so we want this portion just this portion of our shape to create to create a crescent shape so we need just uh, this bit of our shape uh, 
and again select everything go to path then click on difference again go to path then click on break apart to delete this uh, shape right here the circle shape okay now hold control key on the keyboard and uh, move it to the on top of our vector donate icon set the color to black and then the fill tab change the opacity to about 40 40 ish click again on this shape you'll get this crosshair uh, this cursor in the middle and just have to move it to the center of our vector donut icon now you can hold control on your key control key on the keyboard and rotate it like this and uh, that's it i can further edit the nodes make it uh, look a bit thin which is completely up to you but i'll just tweak it a bit and I'll leave it So yeah, that's it. That's how you create this vector donut icon in Inkscape.